Here's an update on that colony where I had to kill the queen because she was laying all these drone eggs and they were making these goofy looking drone cell caps here. You can see this is the before. You can see how bumpy they are. <clears throat> it really just doesn't look good at all. In the previous video I had to look around until I found her. And then I found her. There she is. There's the culprit. And unfortunately, you know, she had to be kind of put down. But a couple days later, I found this swarm in my yard, and there's the queen there walking around. So I added this swarm to this hive right here. And they got a new queen and some extra bees. And here I am about to check them out. This was the frame I pulled first in the first video. You can recognize it by the combs at the bottom of this frame. But here you can see how flat the cells are. You can't see too many in this shot, but you'll see it on the next one. But they're flat. They're not all bumpy and sticking out. Here they are again, nice and flat. On this frame, you can really see it. All the brood up there is perfectly flat. No bumps sticking out. And here I'm just scanning, looking for the queen. Check the other side. Nice, perfectly flat. It's totally different from the before video. All right, we'll look at one more frame here. And as you can see, all the worker cells again are perfectly flat. There's actually no drone cells at all. And that's all brand new comb. Bees that have a good queen that they like seem to build comb <clears throat> much quicker than bees that are just don't have a good queen. Really nice looking cappings. But we still haven't seen the queen, so are we going to find her or what? And there she is on the final frame on the opposite side, hiding nice and big, laying the right eggs, doing really well. And they have a new queen. So I'll put her back before I injure her or lose her or anything. I just want to get her safely in there and put away.